2311 Racing came out with some great news for the upcoming season, and it seems like the fans aren't going to be fully disappointed after all. Kurt Busch, one of the fan favorites, has made a decision for the coming season. And while many of us thought we wouldn't see him in the racing seat again, we've been proven wrong by the team's latest statement. Kurt Busch suffered a concussion during qualifying in Pocono, and although everyone thought that the crash itself wasn't that dangerous, and drivers have survived far worse, it turned out to be the worst crash that the 43-year-old has suffered in his career. Bush has suffered from concussions, which eventually sidelined him for the remainder of the season, and it raised some serious questions for the safety of the next-gen cars, with Bowman being sidelined for five races due to a similar injury. Nonetheless, the concussion that Bush has suffered turned out to be a much more complex one, and it went to the extent of Bush announcing that he won't race full-time for the 2023 season. Although he did not announce his retirement, an unfortunate series of events resulted in the next season without the number 45, as Tyler Reddick took his place. The replacement would have likely happened from 2024 onward, but 2311 Racing never intended to lose Bush for the upcoming season, and the concussion itself has turned Bush's life into a living hell. For things to be even worse for him, he had an amazing start to the 2022 season. Bush had three top 10 finishes, including a pair of top fives in the first five races. Just over a third of the way through the season, Bush extended his streak of winning at least one race per season to nine years as he won in Kansas. But fate had other plans for the amazing driver, and Pocono Raceway happened. Just two months after his first win of the season, Bush lost control of his number 45 car and backed it into the wall. The accident seemed like a minor one, but as we mentioned earlier in the video, it sidelined Bush for the rest of the season and eventually for the 2023 season as well. What gave us a glimpse of hope is that Bush never announced his retirement. He only said that he would step down his role as a full-time racing driver. He made it very clear that a potential return will be possible, but in order for that to be completed, he needs to feel 100% ready. That is something that Denny Hamlin, the co-owner of the team, has spoken about with the media now that the team has announced that Reddick and Wallace will run the full-time driving jobs for the upcoming season. That was the narrative up until this point, as the team announced that Travis Pastrana would be present for the qualifying process for the Daytona 500. Hamlin spoke about Pastrana joining the team for the season opening race, further adding that he plans to assemble a team for a third 2311 car. According to him, this would enable the team to not only provide a chance for Pastrana to qualify at Daytona, but also to open the door for Bush if he wants to race in the upcoming season. Yeah, that's kind of the game plan for us with our 2311 team is that if Kurt decides that he wants to run races, we have to be prepared for that. And we have to be prepared to field a very competitive race car. By us doing this with Travis, it allows us a race team to build that depth. We've been very lean on our personnel for the first two or three years of our inception. This is something that has cheered every NASCAR fan out there because not a single soul hated Kurt Busch and not a single soul cheered the way he was taken out of the sport. You wouldn't wish that on your worst enemy, and we all hoped that the sport had bigger plans for Bush's racing career. Now, Bush has switched his focus on the commentator's career, something that we'll speak about later in this video. First, let's see what Hamlin had to add regarding the future of the team and how Bush fits into this whole narrative. Now we're starting to build some depth. You always have crew members who are out for family reasons and health reasons, this allows us to build, and I feel the depth that we have within our team, we're able to field a car that's going to be very competitive when that time comes for us to run a part-time entry. Obviously, the most important thing for Bush to do to make a comeback in the sport would be to receive a medical clearance. Even though we may feel like he's 100% ready, there could be some indicators that would show otherwise, such as his reflexes. And even with Bush receiving the medical clearance, it will be a very slim appearance in NASCAR for him meaning that the team will carefully calculate at what events he would be able to participate. One thing is for sure, Bush won't attend races on super speedways, where the speed of the NASCAR reaches almost 200 miles per hour and the threat of repeating the injury is almost tripled. Shorter tracks like Bristol or Richmond, where speeds are considerably slower and the risk of injury is brought to almost a minimum but still persistent are the likely outcome of Bush's career in 2023 as a part-time racer. However, after what he suffered from in Pocono, this is considered a huge upgrade in his career. Still, it's not something that he'll do for anything in the world, 
and one of the reasons he'd consider returning to the tracks is that he might be able to extend his race-winning streak to a decade. What Bush is likely to focus on is his commentator career, which will see him present in the Fox Sports booth now that Jeff Gordon has announced his departure after the 2021 season. There is a sudden change of direction in Fox Sports, as the network will likely go down the same path as the previous season, including a rotating commentator's crew of Tony Stewart, Danica Patrick, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. What doesn't go in Bush's favor is that he didn't receive the response he would have wanted to receive from Fox Sports, according to Lee Spencer. When talking about this matter, Spencer said, It appears that way because I talked to Kurt and he said, Hey, you know, I'd love to do the first seven races. He wasn't greeted with that same kind of energy that he was looking for, so he'll be doing quite a bit with Fox, but probably not as much as he'd like to. Why the first seven races only, one might ask? Leaving the booth at that point would allow him to drive at Richmond, Bristol, and Martinsville, where he has scored 10 of his 34 victories. Now remember that earlier in this video, we talked about potential races where Bush could make his debut and extend his winning streak to a decade. And Richmond and Bristol were two of the races where he could make his debut, given the nature of the races themselves. However, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the home track of Bush, will be a natural place for him to start his 2023 career as we all know that the support he'll receive there will be massive. As of now, the third spot in the booth has been left empty, with Mike Joy and Clint Boyer expecting their next colleague to join the booth. Reed Spencer spoke about Larry McReynolds and said he has no idea why NASCAR isn't employing him instead of Kurt Busch, as he continued. He's out there working. He's talking to people constantly. He knows what's going on, and it would be nice to have the mechanics view in the booth from a guy who is so dialed in. What is left for us at this point? First, we hope that Bush will be in an impeccable state to perform once he decides to join the sport again in 2023. And we certainly hope that the medical approval won't be too big of a deal that Bush will see as an obstacle in his return. After that, we hope that he'll win another race in his career, something that would extend his streak to 10 years and something that will make every NASCAR fan happy out there. Obviously, he would have to pick a race that won't present too big of a challenge for him because the mental pressure that he'll feel after qualifying in Pocono is something that not many drivers can get on top of. But if there is one driver out there who can do this, that has to be Bush. With that being said, what do you think about Kurt Busch? Do you think he'll make a comeback and win at least one race in 2023? Let us know in the comments below.